As medical students, we struggle a lot to get into the medical college. After that, there are 19 subjects that we master. And uh, <clears throat> finally, we have a huge bottleneck, which is called the uh, postgraduate medical entrance, completed by almost 160,000, 160,000 medical students and doctors across the country. And uh, such a cutthroat competition mercilessly cutthroat competition. Hardly there are about 20,000 discernible seats, postgraduate seats. So what do we do with our medical degree? Is a big enigma. When we land in a situation where we could not crack the postgraduate medical entrance. Not just one, Every student passes through this uh, journey between the transition of and the graduation into post graduation. Now, what are the, I'm going to quickly brief you. What are the challenges? How do we overcome the challenges? Is there any secret? We can read less, but at the same time, we can become a topper. So what is the smart way of preparation? What are the myths? The myths that we carry while preparing for the PG entrance? How, are, how is a person who is a topper in PG entrance? He has no super brain. He's not a super computer. He's not a super robot. He's another ordinary Joe who is our classmate, our benchmate, our roommate, who is able to crack. So what is that we can learn to smartly strategize to become the top in the entrance exam? I'm going to talk now. First comes what is the challenge? We have 19 subjects. Anatomy, physiology, bike, micro, pharma, pathophorensic, forensic, ENT, ophthal, etc., etc. Each subject has almost uh, uh, thousand pages. Almost nineteen thousand pages. Can we be able to humanly master and uh, reproduce in the exam? Is a very important. Uh, Question in everybody's mind. Impossible to do that because if you take a simple subject, general medicine, what do we study for general medicine in uh, undergraduate? We all study Davidson. What is the uh, common challenge um, in mastering this? Uh, 19 subjects we are talking about. So there are almost all 20,000 uh, pages to master. Do we need to do that in order to become uh, a topper is one of the important question. No, not really required. So I was talking about general medicine. So in general medicine, we all study Davidson. There are so many topics in general medicine. And uh, when we go for entrance exam, need PG entrance, we have around 30 topics that we really need to, I mean, 30 questions which are being asked in the entrance. In order to solve the 30 questions, we spend days together to master the subject of general medicine. But by reading 10 times Davidson, do we become expert in general medicine? No. It's a lifetime effort. Even as MD general medicine today, sometimes when I get doubt, I go back and uh, review what are the recent recommendations. Why did I miss the diagnosis, 
etc etc so every subject is a journey um, that you that that you need to um, know what is important in that from an entrance perspective quickly master that test as much as possible how much you have mastered and then move on so that is the smart way of preparation